amino acids consists of a central carbon atom bound to four groups. Now, in every amino acid, three of those groups are always going to be the same. They're going to be made up of hydrogen, amine, and a carboxylic acid. So it's the fourth group that is going to differ in the 20 naturally occurring amino acids. And so this fourth group could also be called the designated R. So R basically just stands for any type of chemical chain. And so I'm just going to write here, it differs. Because like I said, although three of the groups are going to be the same for every amino acid, the fourth group is going to differ from amino acid to amino acid. So we can classify amino acids into five different groups. And so we're going to take a look at those classifications. So the first is nonpolar, which is where the R's are mostly alkyl groups. And so that's like alanine, valine, and leucine. And then we have the polar group, which is where the R's are oxygen and hydrogen and a double bond between carbon and hydrogen, but they are not charged. So that would be something like serine, glutamine, or praline. And then we come to the aromatic amino acids, which is where the R's are rings. And so this is phenylalanine, tyrosine, those are some examples. And then another group is what we, would, what we would call positively charged, or we could also call this basic. And by basic, I don't mean simple. I mean the opposite of acidic. And so here the R's are amino groups like lysine and arginine. And then last but not least, the fifth group is basically the opposite of this. So it's negatively charged or we could call it the acidic group. So here the R's are carboxyl groups and so an example of that is aspartate. So that's a look at the five different classifications of amino acids. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.